At the moment, Davy says the program is up and running and that the content needed to be localized to the Kenyan culture from the current Irish English to Kenyan English, meant to help the users identify with the program. The bulk of the work is done. The smaller amount of work is in the localization, but the localization is critical so people can see it and understand it and relate to it. And we provide a free license for it. Give it to the ministry or a local software company and work with them to make it exactly what would work in Kenya. The program will only provide digital curriculum for mathematics, chemistry, physics and biology in an animation form meant to make it interesting and more interactive to the user. So far, Intel will train 4,000 teachers on how to operate the portal and will provide them with codes. And that the Ministry of Education will be expected to take charge of the maintenance of the portal as soon as it is ready. Well, the way the formulas work is we make them animated. They're flash animated, there's tests, there's pictures. So it's not like a book where you just make an e-book and you're reading. There's animation, you interact. Intel has so far spent $12 million in the development of the portal and that more money will be needed for the training of teachers as the company is currently in another deal with the government to provide laptops to school-going children and that the company is in the process of rolling out small prepaid bundles of broadband in the country. Philip Keitang, KTN Business Today.